Good evening, listeners. This is Cardiac Radio, and welcome to our 6 p.m. program. Prayer without ceasing. My name is Teresa. I live in Vermont, and I am a regular uh, on listener to Cardiac Radio daily. And hello to some of our listeners there, Vanessa and John DeRosa. Thank you for being here. Um, tonight, I have chosen chapter 34 of A Solitary Place. And this is out of Our Daily Bread by Emmanuel, psychographed by Chico Xavier. A Solitary Place. He said to them, come with me to a solitary place and rest a little. This is out of Mark chapter 6, verse 31. Jesus's exhortation to his companions is of singular importance for disciples of the gospel in all ages. It is crucial to learn the way of the solitary place, wherein the master awaits his followers for constructive rest in his love. In this invaluable symbol, hold on a moment, I'm getting some, if possible. Okay. I hope that works better. So this is a solitary place, chapter 34. Jesus' exhortation to his companions is of singular importance for, his, for disciples of the gospel in all ages. It is crucial to learn the way of the solitary place, wherein the master awaits his followers for constructive rest in his love. In this invaluable symbol, the inner sanctuary of the heart is thirsting for divine light. The Lord has in no way referring only to the solitude of places conducive to meditation, where we can always find living suggestions of a human nature. Instead, he was referring to the silent chamber situated within us. Furthermore, we cannot forget that the moment, in, the moment it immerses itself in the currents of a higher idealism, the spirit thirsting for divine union finds itself maladjusted and profoundly alone in the world, in spite of serving it daily in conformance with the infallible designs of the Most High. In the secret temple of the soul, the Christ awaits us in order to replenish our exhausted energies. People first began to search for that solitary place by retreating to monasteries or barren areas However, the teaching of the Savior has nothing to do with eternal world, with the external world. Prepare yourself to serve the divine kingdom in the city or field in any season, but do not seek rest thoughtlessly, knowing that quite often an idle body is torture for the soul. Before anything else, seek to discover that solitary place within you where you will find rest in the company of the master. So it's good to reflect on this um, short lesson by Emmanuel, um, remembering that this Bible verse is at the um, happening at the time of, of when Jesus multiplied the fish and the bread and, and fed many people. The apostles and Jesus had been amongst the crowd for a long time, and Jesus was suggesting that the apostles needed to rest and should go off to a remote area so they could rest a little bit, and they got into the boat. But the crowds followed them. Um, when they arrived in the boat, here the crowds had walked on the land and were there when they came, got off the boat. And so it's a good reminder that Jesus didn't tell them to get back in the boat and go find another area, that um, Jesus um, allowed them to rest right there among the crowd. 
And I, I think this is important for us today with the coronavirus that we cannot go to a remote island, we cannot escape it, that um, we, um, we need to find that inner calm within ourselves right here with the virus in our towns, in our states, in our cities. Um, and um, remembering that we are meeting with our master Jesus that we are not just hiding out or, um, you know, in fear or escaping, um, that it is important for us to take rest and comfort uh, within ourselves. So with that in mind, I think also um, Emmanuel points out that you know, it, it's not a good idea to rest too long, that we need to be mindful in our resting and um, within our ten intention to rest. But then it's, it, it's not good for us to, um, as he put it, um, to be idle. And resting is necessary for preparation for serving the higher good. So with... Um, that in mind, I invite all, all of us to join now in our 6 p.m. prayer and to close our eyes and relax our bodies and find that solitary place within ourselves of calm. And a good way to do that is to connect with our senses of, you know, feeling the place that we are sitting, standing, the earth underneath us feeling the clothing against our skin, maybe if there's a breeze. We connect with our sense of smell, the sense of taste, what might we be tasting in our mouth, hearing, trying to connect with the, ro the most remote sound in the room. And we let ourselves connect in this quiet space, this gap between our thoughts. And we allow ourselves to be comforted and surrounded by the love of Jesus, Mary Mother, our guardian spirits, the spirits within our home, the mentors of Kardec Radio. And with that, solitary place, that place of quiet, we connect with gratitude, remembering that if God has allowed it, it is for our good, and knowing within our hearts that we are cared for and will be provided. And with that in mind, we ask permission with respect and humility to end our session, and so be it. Thank you, dear listeners. We invite everybody to come back tomorrow to join us again at 6 p.m. for prayer. Pray without ceasing. Thank you. So be it.